This shirt is definitely supposed to be like that. But it keeps going up, so I don't care anymore. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my September favorites. I almost said August favorites. I just feel like the months go by so quickly that I'm never ready. Like I'm never actually prepared for a favorites video. So I figure I would just skip August and then for September we can talk about the things that I was loving this month and last month. If I sound a little sick or my nose just starts to like spontaneously drip, it's basically because Elver is super sick right now and she's just been coughing and sneezing all over me. So if, if I look like I'm getting sick, it's because he got me sick. Thanks, babe. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I feel like I have some really good stuff to talk about. Um, if you're wondering about anything that's on my face, I did film a tutorial on this that should already be up on my channel. So it will be linked down below in the description box. Let's just... Roll into the favorites. <laughs> Clearly, I'm way too excited. So the first thing I want to talk about is a face primer. And I will be honest, I've been loving this since like the middle of the month. So I'm cheating like a little bit. But I do really like this primer. This is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I did use this in my one brand tutorial with Too Faced products. I'm going to link that down below just in case you guys want to check that out. What I love about this primer is that it reminds me so much of my MAC Skin Refine Zone, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know that is like my favorite, one of my favorite primers of all time. I love the way that feels on my skin. And it's basically just like a tightening, pore minimizing primer. And it's mattifying, which is like like, that's all I could ever ask for in a primer. It does smell like peach, but it's not very overwhelming. And it is peach colored. This is it on my hand. I only picked up this and I think the eyeshadow palette from the collection. And I love them both. So. Sticking with skin, I've been obsessed with a concealer this month. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Golden 40. I did pick up two shades in this concealer. I picked up... Golden 40 and Medium 30, I believe. I've used them both already, and I definitely don't like Medium 30 for my face. Golden 40, I love for my face. I am actually wearing it today. Can you believe that? So here's Medium 30, and then right next door, of course, is Golden 40. Um, you can definitely tell that Golden 40 is a little bit darker, and it's definitely more on the, like, golden warm yellow orangey side which is like exactly what I need in my concealer and they do dry down really really fast you're gonna see this is gonna be dry in about five seconds I honestly feel like these are so comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I don't find them to be like exact dupes of course but I think they are very very similar it's full coverage very full coverage actually I think this might even have more coverage than the Urban Decay Concealer this does crease on me before I set it, I always notice that there is some creasing, like, in my under eye wrinkles, you know? You know, right up in here, you know? I always notice that there's some creasing in there, but it's not a big deal because I always go in with loose powder and set it. So, once I set my under eyes and all the other areas of my face, the creasing is basically all gone. I really like this concealer, and it is so inexpensive. You honestly cannot go wrong. I think they're $6 each. So, like, like, come on. They're six dollars each. You guys have to try them out. Since we're talking about ColourPop, this is another ColourPop product. Can you believe it? This is just like the month of ColourPop, I guess. This is the ColourPop pressed powder in the color. There is no color on this. I think this is the color Rodeo Drive. I'm gonna link it down below because I only have one of these. But that's so weird. There's no color on the back of this bronzer. It is pretty warm. But that's exactly what I look for in bronzers. I love warm bronzers on my skin tone. Honestly, anything that's like neutral or cool tone looks so muddy and gross. It does not look good on me. I promise. I've tried. This bronzer has so much pigmentation and it's so blendable. And just this color, I love this color on my skin tone. I think it looks so beautiful and I've been using it all month. And again, it's ColourPop so you know it's super inexpensive. I actually think ColourPop is coming to Sephora in the near future, which is like... Could that be more exciting? This formula is just amazing from ColourPop. I don't even know how they do it for such an expensive price. Like, I'm confused. Speaking of bronzer slash contouring products, my next favorite is, again, like, half cheating. Maybe I'll be using this for, like, 
two to three weeks, maybe three weeks, I'm not sure. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the color Truffle. I am obsessed with this. If you guys saw my Fenty Beauty review, which if you didn't, it's going to be linked down below. But if you saw it, you saw it. This was my favorite product in the entire haul. And it still is. I continuously use this like every single day. Of course, I'm not using it today. But that's because I set my face before. And like, I was supposed to use it, but I forgot. So this is the color Truffle right here. This is the only matte matchsticks that I have. I do have two shimmery ones. And I have played with them. And I can tell you that I like them. But I definitely don't love them as much as I love the matte one. I love the way that this color looks on my cheekbones. I don't like it on my forehead. Like I said, it looks a little bit muddy on me because everything just turns so cool tone on my face. It just doesn't look right. But this on my cheeks looks so good. This color I feel like works so perfectly on my skin tone. And I really like the formula because it is more of that like dry consistency. Today I didn't use it and I feel like my contour just looks like... We could we could use some work. We could fix this. Come on. Another bronzy sort of type of product. It's not a bronzer, but it's very bronzy. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color Sun Power. This does not give me sun. This is a lot more dark and warm than give me sun. I would not suggest you pick this up and try to use it as a bronzer because you will look crazy. You will look crazy. Trust me, I've done it. You will look crazy. What I love this for is for a blush. Of course, I'm not wearing it today. But I've worn it so many times in the last two months. It's like ridiculous. I think if you look in my description box and look under MOTD, I have this listed like almost every time. Because it's just the most beautiful blush color ever. If you want a blush that's not too overpowering, but you want it to be like a little bronzy, but still give your skin some life, this is like the color to go to. I love this so much. I mean, I've used it so many times. You can see just like how orange that is. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it here. Look at that. Like, don't try to bronze with that. That's like straight up orange. But on the cheeks, I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Uh, last face product that I want to talk about is by Cover FX, and I'm like so late to this. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Sunlight. And I... I love these. These are like ridiculously beautiful and again, I'm not really into liquid highlighters usually, but damn, this is like, this is like a next level. This is a swatch of it right here. Look at how intense that is. I do feel like it takes a lot more love to blend it out and make it look more seamless, but it's so intense, like I don't care. I just feel like they're so good. They're so expensive though, like so expensive, but if you think about it, like you're never, ever, ever ever gonna go through this like look I put the tiniest drop on my hand and blended it out and like it's like look at that these do set because right now like this is not tacky on my hand this is like this is not going anywhere this is not sticky it's like it's good to go which is like exactly what I look for and I feel like these are so intense like you don't have to set it with a powder highlighter because then like it starts to get really crazy on the skin so I'm really I'm just really in love with these. One eye product that I want to talk about, and I feel like it's kind of weird that I'm talking about this because this is not a kind of product that I ever talk about or care about, but I feel like I need to talk about it because it's that good. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I never talk about mascaras. Like, you guys know this. I don't care about mascara because I wear falsies every single time I do my makeup. And my lashes are like this big. I picked this up, I want to say, maybe the end of last month. And I've been trying it out ever since. And I, I'm i obsessed with it. I think it is so good. And I think if you have actual long lashes, like, you need to give this a try. I think if you have tiny, itty-bitty baby lashes like I do, you need to give this a try. I think you need to give this a try, like, no matter who you are. Even if you don't care about mascara, even if you don't like mascara, like, you need to get this dry. I love the wand on this. It reminds me so much of the Better Than Sex wand by Too Faced. And that's like one of my favorite mascaras of all time. This makes my lower lashes so black, so long. And it's like, 
those are the only lashes I really care about because of course I'm just gonna put on some falsies so like I don't mind if the top lashes like I don't care what they look like but my lower lashes I feel like they have so much definition they're so long and just like you can actually see them and I feel like when you have nice lower lashes like that changes a lot about your look you need to go try it like if everybody else in the world talking about it didn't come into you let me come into you I have a whole bunch of lip products to talk about now uh, first I want to talk about some lip pencils by Colourpop Colourpop makes probably my favorite lip pencil formula in general I think their formula is so nice it's super creamy really pigmented really easy to draw on the ones that I want to talk about are both in collaboration with I Love Sarai which is Karen I know you guys are all following her she is like she's like the goat I love her so the ones that I want to talk about are 951 and Curvy. These colors are so universal and they just work with everything. So the color on top, should I zoom you in? This color is 951 and then the color below it is Curvy. They're both relatively nude. 951 just has like a little bit more of like a mauve feel to it and Curvy is just a little bit more on the warm side. But I use them both all the time because I love them both all the time. These honestly go with any lip color that you could want to pair with. Anytime that I'm ever wearing a new lip, I'm like, oh, let me grab 951 or oh, let me grab Curvy because I know that they're going to go so well with whatever I'm wearing and they're so creamy and I just love them so much and they're so inexpensive. It's just like, how can you go wrong with some ColourPop lip pencils? You can't. Grunge by ColourPop was my favorite lip pencil of all time. But I don't know. It might have a run for its money. Let me let me swatch that here too. Grunge is just a little bit darker than 951. It, I feel like you can't tell on camera. These are all three pretty similar colors, but I don't know. Grunge is a little bit darker, so maybe Grunge is still my favorite. Next lip product I want to talk about is a lip gloss. <laughs> this is like you can't tell. This is a dose of colors over the top lip gloss. This is the gloss from the Katie and Desi collection. And I freaking love this gloss. I've worn it so many times since I got it. And that's saying a lot because I don't really wear gloss that often. This is the color right here. It's basically just a clear gloss with like a crap ton of glitter in it. And it looks so freaking gorgeous. Okay. I would honestly wear this with anything, with any color lip. But I just think it looks extra gorgeous with nude lips. Because then it makes your lips just look so like sumptuous and glossy and like yummy and like somebody should bite them you know that that's that's what I get do you get that it is just the most beautiful gloss of all time I think if you owned this gloss and no other gloss like you would be set for life because you can just put it over anything and it just takes it to a whole nother level it's so beautiful especially in the summertime I think this is like a summertime kind of a gloss like this gloss reminds me of like going to the beach and being oiled up in a nice bathing suit you know baby belly out and everything that's just like what that's just what I picture in my head. But I think even going into the fall months, into the winter months, this is going to come in handy. So I have been loving this and wearing it like crazy. Last lip product that I want to talk about is not really a makeup product at all. It's a lip balm. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. This is a baby, like, tiny, itty-bitty sample that I got from Sephora. But I did order the full size. It should be in maybe Monday maybe Tuesday I'm not sure I have been obsessed with this and I honestly didn't want to get this sample and I'm so happy that I did I actually really don't like caramel like at all I'm like one of those weird people everyone in my family is like caramel so good and I'm like I really don't like caramel I'm sorry I don't know I just don't like it so when I saw that this sample was like being offered in the little promo section of sephora.com I was like I don't know if I want to try that like it's called lip caramel but none of the other stuff that they were offering looked interesting to me at all so I was like okay give me the damn lip caramel whatever I'll try it out if I don't like it I'll give it to someone else I love this I honestly don't think it tastes or smells like caramel oh oh <laughs> yeah I don't get caramel from this at all it just honestly smells like a lip balm and I love this because I use it before I go to bed. I love Chapstick 8 Hour Moisture. If you guys have been watching me for a while, that's like my go-to lip balm slash chapstick is like just that. I use that all the time. But I just wanted something that was, that was a little bit more heavy. And this is exactly what I was looking for. It's 
it's more heavy without being overpowering and when I wake up in the morning my lips feel so good now I know you guys have been seeing this hanging out in the background for the entire video and yes it is a favorite it's not just there because someone fired it or something like we need to talk about some Febreze really quickly now being pregnant my nose is on like a whole nother level like it is actually I I'm like scared sometimes so this has been my best friend <laughs> because you don't realize it but just things stink like things they just they just stink I feel like this is gonna be TMI but like sometimes like I walk into a room and I'm just like you know what I don't know who's been in here does not smell good so I'm just like please please I just walk around spraying Febreze and this is like the scent that I like I mean I like the like original linen or whatever it's called but I really like this one. This is a Febreze Air Hawaiian Aloha. I also have this scent in my car and I don't like it for my car. For some reason I feel like it smells different than this. Um, so I prefer the blue one for the car. Just so you know. But the spray, this spray, so good. And we also have the trash bags that have this scent in it. And every time I open a new trash bag I just like open it like this and I'm like... I don't know if you guys like can relate to that at all it's just like once I got pregnant everything just started smelling bad even if it's even if it really doesn't smell bad to me it smells bad and it needs some Febreze and that's why I've been spraying the crap out of this so that is it for my favorites video I feel like that was a really long favorites video but I did have some really good stuff to talk about and I'm really excited about all the products that I showed you guys here, especially the Febreze, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to leave your favorites down below. I love to read what you guys have been loving. If you want to talk about Febreze too, let me know. I'm always down to talk about some Febreze. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll leave that information down below as well as all the products that I used on my face today and everything that we spoke about today and the tutorial for this look that I am wearing today. That's all going to be linked down below and I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and I am so ridiculously excited for today's video. Just like I say in every single video that I 